What's up guys, my name is Shiro Psycho, and I wanted to talk about this particular video that I've been seeing all around YouTube and Facebook and things like that for a couple months now. And you I am gonna um, I'm gonna have a description and I'm gonna have the link in the description, assuming I can talk properly and not sound like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, before I get started, let me just say I am all for, you know, religious equality, people believing in what they want to believe in, and all of that other good equality stuff, you know? I'm not, I don't discriminate against who, whatever religion you are, or anything like that. This is purely a matter of opinion, okay? And before you guys think I'm bashing the woman in this video, all of you can fuck off. Whoever will think that. So I'm pretty sure someone who might see this video will. Anyway... So, the woman in this particular video I was talking about was talking about this whole thing with Monster Energy Drinks, claiming that Monster Energy Drinks are drinks of the devil. And she gave out a couple little clues to, you know, prove her point, and, you know, damn. She pointed out a couple little points that were on the can to prove her point valid. For example, the... M design on the monster can is really 666 in Hebrew because the M isn't completed. And then she mentioned the O with the line going through it was um was really across that line I mean. And when you drink the can, the can goes upside down making an inverted cross. Uh what else she mentioned? She mentioned um She mentioned There was one more thing. I know there was. What the hell was it? I want full fire on those <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel stupid. This was the main one, I think. She mentioned the slogan. The slogan Unleash the Beast. Supposed to be a work of the devil. You know, the devil's unleash the devil inside or some shit like that. You'll see the whole thing in the video. Now first of all. In regards to the Hebrew lettering, exactly what I'm gonna die. Never mind. Exactly what person at Monster Incorporated is, you know, trying to figure out what 666 is in Hebrew. Like, how many of those people really give a shit about that? Maybe they didn't want the lines on the M completed because it looks cooler. I mean, it's a fucking M. You get the point. It looks completely like a normal ass design to me. And then, in regarding to the slogan, Unleash the Beast, it's just a slogan. I mean, it's just saying, unleash that beast inside of you when you drink the energy drink. You know, it'll get you hyped up, it'll get you focused, it'll make you into a fucking tiger, I guess. Because maybe the beast doesn't have to relate to a I, um, the devil. Maybe it relates to something as simple as a tiger, or an animal. Or some other creature that can be called a beast. Do you have any idea how many creatures are called beasts in this world? Probably didn't think of that. And then, with the O being... This one gets me the most. The O, with the line going through it. Okay. It's... It's a fucking O. Like, I want to I wanna know exactly how many people at Monster Incorporated are like... Let's make sure people understand that this is an inverted cross and not really just an O with a line going through it because it looks cooler. Seriously, it looks like... it just looks cool. At least, that's what I would think the line is there for, just to make it look cool. I wouldn't think of it as inverted cross if I'm just simply drinking an energy drink. After all, if it's the drink of the devil, then wouldn't a lot of people in the world be possessed by Satan already? Like, out of all the people I've known who drank energy drinks in their life, including myself, I have never seen a single person start freaking out and acting like Reagan from The Exorcist ever in my life. I might die from this. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, I've never seen some shit like that. I've never heard of any reports like that, or, you know, anything like that. <sighs> now, let's say for some re reason... Uh, by some chance, this woman's correct, you know, maybe 
this whole thing is right. It really is the devil's drink and all of that. <laughs> it is just a drink. I mean, she mentions God being able to work in product the same way Satan can. I don't really know what product God has, you know, like, what type of religious beverage is out? Holy water? Can you drink that? I'm being serious, I don't think you can drink holy water. I, I don't remember being told that you can, but, you know, if you can, I guess bottoms up. Fine, it's a religious drink. But, are they selling it? Do you sell... Ow. Do you sell holy water? I would assume not. I would hope not. Here's the thing, right? Again, there is... Maybe this woman is right, like I said. But, it's just really hard to swallow the idea of an energy drink symbolizing some demonic shit. I just can't really fathom the idea. It's kind of hard to let through. It's kind of hard to, you know, agree with. Like, has the devil really, like, laughed at the f in the faces of those who drank a monster energy drink? It's, maybe it's just for, like, a one-hour pick-me-up or something like that. I mean, it's an energy drink. Maybe you just like the taste. You don't mean to be satanic about it. And then, what about, you know, the non-religious people? The people who don't really believe in anything? Are they really gonna give a shit about what kind- about what, you know, the monster is? What it represents? Atheists aren't gonna give a damn if it's a- <laughs> if it's the devil's drink. Now, I guess <sighs> someone behind me. Where did you go? Hmm. I'm guessing that guy killed him. Anyway, like I said, I'm really not trying to bash this woman because I understand her intentions are good. She just wants to, you know, spread a message of. Maybe a probability. Maybe she didn't really expect, you know, people to believe this. And maybe not everyone does. I assume not everyone does. I just think, you know, it's a little extremist to me. Like, monster energy drinks aren't fucking virility from DMC. Like, it's not... I would hope that monster energy drinks aren't being made by some sort of succubus or something. Only people who play DMC will understand that. I'm just saying. If you haven't played it, then you'll probably be as fucked up as confused as me about this whole monster fiasco. But that's not the point of this video. No. You know what this makes me think of? The video of the woman doing makes me think of all of the times where media accused Fox, sorry, not Fox, accused video games for violence. That's what it makes me think of. And I'm not, it doesn't make me think of that purposely. It's like, you blame something, and it's not really, it doesn't really relate to whatever problem you're blaming it for. It's just something to blame, it seems. I'm pretty sure this woman had the right intentions in mind, but she just didn't... I guess she just wanted... She just took it to the extreme. How about that? Because now, there's going to be a lot of people who are like me, who drink monsters, right? They're gonna drink monsters, they're gonna like drinking monsters, God damn it. They're gonna like drinking monster, and it's gonna be considered bad. They're gonna be called well, devil worshippers and all types of bullshit that they just don't wanna hear. Maybe if even a religious person who believes in God drinks a monster just because he likes the taste, he or she likes the taste, they're just gonna be like, oh, well, you worship the devil. Oh, we got another devil worshipper here. 
I mean, I drank a monster plenty of times, and I've never performed any, like, sacrificial sacrifices for Satan, or... Sacrificial sacrifice? Sacrificial offerings to Satan. God, I can't talk. Yeah, I never pulled some shit like that. And I'm pretty sure I never will. I'm pretty sure no one else has either. The only bad thing you hear involving monsters are from people who either A, drink it back to back to back to back, or B, they have, you know, heart conditions. Like, you know, the kids who die from monsters, and that's what they're going to use as verification for it too. The devil are killing, the devil is killing people with these monster energy drinks and things like that. But most of the people had heart conditions. Most of the people drank them constantly like it was nothing. And drank the shit like it was water. I used to drink it like it was water and then I heard it was killing people when I was younger. I was like, okay, let me cut down on that. That's probably a bad idea. And that's how most common sense monster drinkers are. At least I would think so. No one with, you know, the common sense to... Damn, that's like the third time that's happened to me. No one with common sense is going to drink a drink that they know is dangerous in large quantities. You know, in large quantities. If they know it's dangerous, if they know it's dangerous, if it's drank too much, they're not going to drink it back to back. No common sense person is that fucking stupid. Wow, I cannot play this game today. I don't know why I chose this. I'm getting my fucking ass kicked. Yeah, no common sense person is gonna do that. So yeah. <laughs> they got fucked up. <laughs> anyway. Point is, those who do like monsters and who do drink them generally for the delicious taste that they have and not to be fucking you know, rude, right? Sorry, not to be fucking satanic or things like that. Just go ahead and drink it. If you dr if you like it, then drink it. There's, like, a religion shouldn't really stop you from doing something you enjoy doing. Now, of course, don't apply that logic to everything, because, I mean, if you like killing things, that's not really a good thing. But you get the message I'm trying to get across. Because a lot of assholes are just going to be like, you know... You're so what, worshiping the devil and all this other stuff. I like peer pressure, but it's not the type of thing that I believe you should fall for. Anyone who, just because you drink a monster, does not make you evil. Same way, just because you play video games, violent video games, that does not automatically make you violent. And as for any other, like, people who are religious and who either watch this video or hear about it or something like that, don't take it as an offensive thing. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to bash any religions or any, or the, or anyone who believes this to be true or the woman who is in the video. I'm not trying to bash it and I'm not trying to do publicity for Monster either in case some of you assholes think that too. No. I'm just saying... I firmly believe that this this monster energy drink thing being you know the devil's drink it's it's a little extreme it's not entirely impossible but it's just a little too hard it's a little too hard for me to you know take it down and I think I got my point across I'm pretty sure I repeated myself a lot but stuff what happens so Hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to anyone else who you think would possibly benefit from listening to this stupid rant. This repetitive rant. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening.